Hello everyone. In my earlier video, I enabled BitLocker using uh, Intune for hybrid AD joint devices, wherein we have on-prem Windows 10 machines whose identities have been synced to cloud using Azure AD Connect, and they are being managed by SCCM. In SCCM, we enabled co-management and transferred their device configuration workload to Intune, which also includes uh, endpoint protection workload. So their BitLocker settings were being managed by Intune. So let me show you my co-management settings. So I enabled co-management for a pilot collection only, which had some Windows 10 machines. So here is my device configuration workload, which includes endpoint protection workload as well. And I moved this for pilot Intune collection. And I set some policies on Intune to enable BitLocker and that machine got BitLocker enabled and saved the keys on Azure AD. Now in SCCM, I have another computer, which I have added to this BitLocker testing collection, which is not co-managed. And I want to enable BitLocker on it using SCCM because we know now with SCCM 1910 version, we have the ability to enable and manage BitLocker using SCCM. We do not need MBAM or AD for that for on-premise uh, computers. So under features, first of all, we need to make sure that BitLocker management is on. So if it's not, you can right click and turn it on, which it's already there on my computer. Then you will need to make sure that uh, you have your reporting point installed and it is working fine. And also your management point is working on HTTPS and not on HTTP. So my management point is already working on HTTPS. And if you want to know how to make it work on HTTPS, look at my previous video where I set up the cloud management gateway using internal HTTPS site servers. There you will know the steps on how to configure the certificates and convert HTTP to HTTPS for management point. Another requirement is to install Microsoft uh, ASP.NET MVC 4.0 on the server which will host the ser service portal. So in my case, that would be my SCCM server. So I have installed that from Microsoft. So now my prerequisites are complete. I have a management point which is working on HTTPS. I have enabled the feature reporting services there. And also Microsoft ASP.NET MVC is installed. We will go to asset and compliance under endpoint protection. We will go to BitLocker management and here we will create the BitLocker policy. We'll name it test score BitLocker. Select client management and OS drive. The first setting here is for Windows 8. The second one is for Windows 10. Even if we leave it not configured, it will be, it will use the default encryption methods, but let us enable it and leave it like this. So these are the default encryption methods. We'll go to next. Under client management, we will have to enable it so that it stores our recovery keys in SCCM database. We will select allow recovery information to be stored in plain text. Otherwise, uh, there is an option to encrypt that using certificates in SQL but that would be a bit complex so for the demo we will leave it like this and change the client checking frequency just for testing purpose to one minute under os drive management settings here we will select do not allow allow bit locker without a compatible tpm so we will not allow that we will select tpm and pin and minimum pin length of four characters is fine next Once this is finished, I will deploy it to a collection where my Windows 10 computer is already there. And that computer is not co-managed, so I would be able to apply the settings from SCCM and click on OK. Here I am on my client machine, which I targeted. And I see a message here for BitLocker drive encryption is required to help and secure the data. For troubleshooting purposes, if you go under C Windows CCM logs, you will see two log files here. 
BitLocker Management Group Policy Handler and BitLocker Management Handler. So we're going to start the BitLocker here and set up a pin, which would be four characters minimum. And it is asking me to remove the drive. So I will remove the disk from D drive. And now it has started encrypting our C drive. So this is my VM on which I enable TPM and it is being encrypted. Uh, we can close this so it will keep on encrypting in the background. And this is the log file. So if you see any issues, uh, it's not encrypting. You can come here and check in these log files to see what's the exact error message. So we see a lock sign here. So the encryption is running and then we will see how to get the recovery keys. Our recovery key has been saved to our SQL database. And if we run this query, so our main tables here are these ones, recovery and hardware core keys table where you will find the recovery keys. You will have to join this with the recovery and hardware core underscore machines to get the machine names from the ID. So here you can get the recovery key and you can get the machine name as well. There are few reports in SCCM under reports for BitLocker. So here you can check the BitLocker compliance and BitLocker audit as well. There is an option wherein you can set up a self-service portal for user to get the recovery keys by himself or herself. But for that, you will need to run some custom scripts and I will create a video for that also in near future. I hope you liked this video on how to enable BitLocker using SCCM and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.